through your mouth? Every day, Yale medical students Crystal Carrington and Lauren Graber work hard to become doctors. Okay. I'm 10 over 65. But their real concern is what happens then? I think we really could be facing a health care coverage crisis. I think my job in the future will be very hard. Bring your arm up here. The crisis will be caused by a massive leap in the number of patients needing doctors. Baby boomers started turning 65 this year at the rate of 7,000 a day and become eligible for Medicare. It's estimated that over the next 10 years, there will be a shortage of 45,000 primary care doctors. One reason, it's a lot more lucrative to become a specialist. Medical students have an unbelievable amount of debt. And I think, I mean, anywhere from the very lucky people who have $100,000 worth of debt to 200 thousand dollars worth of debt. Lauren Graber has managed to control her debt level so she can afford to follow the path she wants into primary care. But she's worried not enough fellow students will do the same. There are people who are interested in primary care, but I think the financial considerations definitely do affect their decision making. Crystal Carrington will leave Yale with a large amount of student debt. She's not planning to go into primary care, but the reasons have nothing to do with money dealing with insurance systems and just also dealing with patients that, you know, no matter how much he gives advice, they still don't take it. In a move that may ease the shortage of physicians, 15 universities are planning to start new medical schools over the next few years. Quinnipiac University already has its facilities ready and is awaiting government approval to start admitting students. Dean Bruce Keppen says it can't come too soon. More than 50% of the baby boomers already have a diagnosis of one chronic disease. Uh, chronic diseases such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cancer. A big challenge for students like Lauren Graber, soon to be on the front lines of patient care. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.